Fungal infections are a major complication in hematologic and neoplastic patients, causing severe morbidity and mortality. Aspergillus fumigatus and Candida albicans are among the most invasive opportunistic pathogens in immunocompromised patients, and classic antifungal drugs are frequently unsuccessful in those patients. Recent reports hypothesized that the antifungal efficacy of all transretinoic acid is indirect and mainly related to its strong capacity to stimulate monocyte-mediated immunity, but no mention was given about its potential direct fungistatic activity. We investigated the impact of ATRA at different concentrations for its antifungal activity against opportunistic Aspergillus fumigatus and Candida albicans. So you can see in these images uh, the inhibitory effect of ATRA on Aspergillus and Candida germination. In the first slide you can see the untreated conidia and uh, in the subsequent slide the effect of ATRA on conidia treated with ATRA at 1 millimolar and uh, the different effect with 0.5 millimolar. Uh, and the other slide, uh, you can see the untreated yeast and the treated yeast with the ATRA at 1 millimolar. So the effect is fungistatic uh, direct uh, on the opportunistic pathogens. The images by light optical microscopy revealed that ATRA at 1 millimolar inhibits Aspergillus, Conidia, swelling and germination after uh, 8 hours of treatment. At, uh, and uh, at the 1 and 0 point millimolar ATRA. Also inhibits the germ tube formation. This inhibitory effect of ATRA on Aspergillus conidia and Candida albicans is germination was maintained at the later time point examined day 7. This data suggests that ATRA at higher concentration exerted fungistatic activity without any adverse effect on yeast and conidia cell viability, which was uh, superior to then 90% as assessed by Tripan Blue Exclusion Test at each time point examined. So, the potential adjuvant application of ATRA might be useful in the treatment and or prevention of systemic mycosis in immunocompromised patients. Therefore, the discovery of a direct fungistatic activity associated with its previously reported immunomodulatory properties make ATRA an excellent candidate for new and efficacy antifungal strategy. Although the clinical systemic use of ATRA and as adjuvant for antifungal therapies requires further investigation in preclinical models, the considerable health burden represented by invasive mycosis and the emerging, emerging multidrug resistance in fungal pathogens justify every effort directed to the research for new solutions.